Welcome to Clubcast. I'm your host, Miguel Guerrero. I'm your other host, Bert Garcia, and we have some cool new mess. Thanks for the mess, Miguel, but what's it for? It's Kids Week. Isn't every week for the kids? Well, yeah, but this week we're celebrating with a bunch of fun theme days. Oh, very cool. And at the top of our show, the weekly top ten. Mr. Justin nails a number one spot again, one of only three people to have done it twice. Smells like success to me. All right, so now it's time for our video of the week. This week, we pay a visit to Miss Tatum from Bertha Sadler Means as she shows us a fun watercolor activity. Hi, I'm Miss Tatum from Bertha Sadler Means Young Women's Leadership Academy. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a color chart like this one that you can use when you are painting with watercolors or any type of paint, really, um, that you can use so that you aren't limited by just the number of paints that you have in a regular watercolor tray. You can use this to help you figure out what colors you can mix so you can make a whole spectrum of different colors. For this project you'll need watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a pencil, a paintbrush, and a plate or a palette to mix your colors on. You're going to start by drawing a grid on your watercolor paper. Count how many colors you have in your tray of watercolor paints and make a space for each color going down the rows on the side of the page and a space for each color going across the columns at the top of the page. After that, you'll paint a swatch of each of your colors in the spaces at the top of each column and the beginning of each row. You'll also paint a swatch of each of the colors at the spot where they intersect on the grid. Now, going down the line of colors, you'll begin mixing the first color in your first column with the first color in your first row. Then, the first color in the first column with the second color of the first row. You'll create a swatch of the first color mixed with every other color in your palette, and then continue to do that for each color. Be sure to get your paintbrush super clean after each use so you're not mixing the colors. There are several different types of color charts you can make. You can create charts that show the variation in value of color depending on how saturated or watered down the paint is. The one I'm making today is the most basic type of chart that you'll be able to look at and find the color you want to paint with and get a good idea of the colors you'll need to mix in order to get it.
Thanks, Miss Tatum. I didn't know there were that many colors. I didn't expect orange and orange to make orange. So in this week's Staff Spotlight, let's meet Miss Anna Lee from Walnut Creek, the mastermind behind the ever-popular How to Brush Your Teeth video. Hey everyone, my name is Anna Lee Lopez and I, I work at the Boys and Girls Club at Walnut Creek. I have been working there since August of 2017. This year is going to be my third year working at that club. Uh, my favorite thing to do at club is just um, spending time with my students, um, just being there um, if they need someone to listen to or give them any advice. Um, I like to know that I am a source of support for them. This is the exact same reason why I enjoy working at club. I think that we can be the change we wish to see in the world and by working with our students and helping them build on their personalities and who they are, um, we will be able to see a change in our society for future generations to come. Bye. Hey Bert, did you uh, take my lunchbox again? Actually, this week I did. Except there wasn't anything in there except this like weird bag. Don't question my lunch choices, man. Come on. This is one of our awesome kids weeks bag. And we also have our lunchbox chat with Mr. Isaiah from DVHS. Hey Dev Valley High School Boys and Girls Club is Mr. Isaiah. I just want to tell you guys how much I'm thinking of you and I miss you guys. I hope that you guys are adjusting well and making the best out of things and giving everything your best every single day. I know online school can be kind of tricky, but I'm proud of you guys and you're doing it. I promise that we're going to see each other really soon. We got some great things that are going to work for you guys. And I know that things can be so much better than what they were before. We're not going back to a normal. We're going back to something that's greater. And I hope you guys can feel that and keep that energy because I know that there are great things on the horizon. Um, I want you guys to know that I'm here for you guys. I'm thinking of you. If you ever need me, I'm not too far to contact. I'm so excited to see you guys again, hear your crazy stories, meet your new friends, make new members, and make new memories, and just do everything that comes with doing club. Until then, guys, I miss you, I love you, and I'll see you very, very soon. See ya. Thanks, Mr. Isaiah, for the awesome message. And thank you, Miguel, for the awesome Swiss rolls. Touch my lunch one more time, and I swear. Who's ready for a laugh? Me! Hi, my name is Yunisia and this is the joke of the day. What do you call a dinosaur that sleeps? Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time for our Healthy Lifestyles Tip of the Week, so let's see what Mr. Fernando is up to. So, we have a new segment for you all. Oh, hey man, could you? Yeah, here you go, man. What's this? You've been caught, our new segment. So, in this new segment, we catch people being awesome to each other. So let's take a look who got caught this week. So if you know someone who's been extra kind or caring, make sure you email us at theclub at bgcaustin.org. Tune in in the coming weeks to see who's been kind. So now it's time for our weekly Club on the Go update. Let's find out where we stand. After 29 weeks of Club on the Go, we've given out over 218,000 meals, almost 48,000 bags, 
over 216,000 cartons of milk, and over 636,000 activities. Thank you to everyone for your hard work on Club on the Go. So in this week's program spotlight, we're going to be looking at our driver's ed program. Wait, wait, wait. Do we really do a uh, driver's ed program? Yeah, we have a driver's ed program. Here, why don't you watch the program spotlight with us? Our driver's ed program began in 2015 at Ann Richards Navarro High School Clubs when the club directors saw older members start to lose interest in club programming. Knowing that one in every five teenagers will have some sort of interaction with law enforcement relating around driving without a license before they turn the age of 17, BGCAA decided to meet both the needs of its club directors and the needs of teens and work to develop a driver's ed program. In 2018, through a local partnership with UPS, Road Code was added as a driver's ed program. Any teen 13 years or older can take part in Road Code, which constitutes a six-hour safety course as well as three driving simulation courses. Once the 20-hour course and driving time are completed, teens are able to receive their driving permit. In the last five years, 812 teens have completed online driver's education with their clubs, and over 700 members have completed the Road Code program, thus leading to safer drivers and safer roads for us all. Wow, what an awesome program we offer. It actually makes me want to enroll. You should tell them about our Keeping Up With Cal this week, then. Good idea. This week, Keeping Up With Cal is going to ask our staff if they think they can drive better than a 16-year-old. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Keeping Up With Cal. This week, we're going behind the wheels to see which staff can pass our simulation. Let's go. Blinker, blinker. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <gasps> you this, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is not right. This is, you're, you're setting me up for failure. We'll be able to hear it. Danielle, Danielle. I killed someone. I <laughs> Danielle. Danielle. Why is it letting me go back to drive? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do I can I turn it? I'm gonna turn that right now. <gasps> what? How did this even happen? <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> Not hey, don't cut me off. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that was close. Did you cut me off? Uh, that's that's right there. Kids don't drive like this. Two hands on the wheel. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, and there goes the person. <laughs> I mean, I'm driving Danielle, SFI. the speed limit is mister. 65. <laughs> Not 80. 65. <laughs> Just think of it as if I'm in Houston, driving on the highway. I don't know, but I'm doing so good in reverse. You're doing so good. The speed limit's 35 and you're going 60. In reverse. Okay. Hey, lady. Like you just cross the street. <laughs> Whenever you just want to, it's my green light. I love it. It looks so good. It will be cutting you off too. This is not real life. Don't let the simulator fool you. We're all licensed drivers. Tune in next week to see what we're keeping up with. <laughs> now it's time for our weekly giveaway where we give out one gift card to one of our subscribers. So to enter, make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So this week's winner goes to Nicole F. So if I just said your name, please call us at 512-444-7199 extension 120. All right, now it's time for us to wrap up the show. So thank you guys for watching as we head into Cozy Corner. Are you excited, Bert? Who's reading this week? One of our amazing club members. Hi, I'm Harmony Fleet, and I'm from Home Club. And today I'm going to be reading The Only True Incredible Me, written by Mark Bessman. I like to be an astronaut floating up in space. I 
or maybe be a circus clown who puts a smile on every face. Farmers are important too. They grow foods for me and you. Teachers teach us how to read. They sprinkle us with learning seeds. I'd like to be a, fi a firefighter who helps people every day. Or be a concert pianist where people come to see me play. I like to be a veteran who's honored for this courage in war. Or maybe be a, a grandpa who takes care of his grandsons, his grandson to, to the store. But most of all, I'd like to be the only true incredible me. The end.